Technology fused with clothing. This is an exciting new space that we are going to explore today. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We have one of the first products from a company called Thermax, and they are determined to fuse technology and clothing in ways that we haven't seen before. So today we're going to be checking out this hoodie and kind of getting a sense for what products Thermax has to offer. And I'll be doing like a full test. I'm gonna hook it up and actually test this thing out. But what exactly is it? Well, we're gonna find out together. Thermax is a pretty new company. They've been around since 2022. They have 107 patents, which they implement into all kinds of clothing and garments and clothing accessories. They have five factories worldwide, and they're currently worth about $89 million. Now you probably haven't heard of them before, just like I haven't. So let's explore kind of what they're all about. Short and sweet, they want to revolutionize the garment heating space. Yes, heated clothing, such as this sweater, which we have right here. This is a hoodie that has a heating element in it. Now, I think of heated clothing, I go all the way back when I was 16 years old and I got my very first pair of heated socks. Now, the technology in those heated socks is vastly different from the technology that's inside this hoodie and all of the other Thermax gear, but heated clothing isn't new. What is new is the way that they kind of implement the heating and the methods of heating and even the methods of powering those heated clothes. So go back to those heated socks that I had. They actually used a giant D-sized battery which had this compartment that you Velcroed it into, connected the battery up, and only the tip of the socks were heated. They had a heating element in there which got really, really hot. Lucky for me, I don't have bad circulation and my feet are always pretty warm anyway. So that's not a concern for me. However, heated clothing does have a very valuable use case in our world today. You see, I have a teenager and my teenager notoriously does not want to dress for the weather. We live up here in Canada and we know all about cold. You guys see pictures of Banff National Park. You see pictures of Lake Louise, Alberta. And we have some of the most world-class ski resorts in Canada. And in pictures, they look beautiful. In videos where you see guys snowboarding around, they look like they're having the time of their lives. But what you don't know is it frequently is minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius up here in Canada. And that's where companies like Thermax come in because they design garments. They look lightweight. They are not like cumbersome. They're not like giant huge parkas, but they have a graphene material which creates the heating elements that are sewn into the garment. And some of their expensive gear even includes app control, which allows you to open up your jacket on your phone and control the heating elements individually and separately. Now the hoodie that we're about to review, I don't think has those features, but we're gonna find out as we explore that together. Now that you know a bit about Thermax, let's dive into the first product that we have got our hands on actually. Gams Go. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gams Go has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsco is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsco for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsco. Switching to Gamsco is as easy as clicking the link in the description or up in the title card, which will take you to the main Gamsco website, select the services that you're looking for, and buy them. But to show you how easy it is, we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna sign up for Netflix. So we've clicked the affiliate link and I'm gonna click purchase now on Netflix. Now we have an option to buy three months or six months. I'm gonna buy a six month membership. I'm gonna say activate auto renewal because you don't wanna miss out anyway. 
Now in my case, I only need one profile. That means that I get one of the five included shared profiles with my Netflix account and I can install it on one device in my home. Do you have multiple devices in your home? You might want to switch to the five profiles option which also unlocks multiple devices so that you can use all of your profiles across multiple devices. But in my case, one profile is plenty. Now this is the most important step. It's gonna say, do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. And the promo code is GEARS. We're gonna apply our promo code and it's gonna say, this is a valid promo code. We're gonna click to go to payment and then we're gonna enter in all of our details. This is a one-time payment of just $21.26. That is crazy cheap for premium Netflix on one device with one profile. I'm going to pay now. I'm gonna enter my credit card information and that's it. Once you've paid, you get immediate access to Netflix and it's as simple as logging into your Gamsgo account, getting the username and pass key, and then going to legit Netflix. Now it's gonna immediately say, well, who is this? Now I am account number three, Gears and Tech. And it's gonna ask for my pin code because I locked this down. Once I have my pin code in, now instantly I am in the full premium Netflix experience. This gives me HD Netflix, I can download it, and it's that simple. And it works the same on all your other favorite streaming platforms. This is truly an amazing deal, you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. Now, first off, there's nothing special about this. It is a bag with a hoodie. You've already seen what it is, so there's not gonna be a surprise. Like when I slide this out, you're not gonna be like, whoa. So this is a hoodie. And if I open this up, we see that it's got the Thermax logo on here in blue and red. It's got a little tag on here that tells us all about it. Now this is made up 55% cotton, 45% polyester. The interior lining is 100% polyester and the level, as it says on here, is a comfort product. I'm expecting a lot here. Opening this up a little bit more, it looks like a standard hoodie. It's got little pockets in the front. It's got a hood got ties but when we look at the liner that is a fleece lined hoodie it is a full zip which I like I do not like the half zip hoodie so this is like a hoodie jacket and I'm gonna try it on actually so I mean overall the build quality of this is very impressive it feels nice to touch it's actually kind of soft so that's because of the poly cotton blend exterior it's not just cotton and it's not just polyester i really don't like touching 100 percent polyester it feels too fake too plasticky so having the cotton mixed with the polyester i'll tell you here's the thing that you probably didn't want to know and you probably didn't even know that i might even know anything about here's the thing with poly cotton blends you see Fabrics are hard to keep clean. A cotton fabric looks great, but stains really easily. Like it, it absorbs stains and they don't want to come out. A polyester product will release stains quite easily because it's plastic. It's just reformed plastic. If you've ever tried cleaning a plastic bag, you put a little detergent on it, it just wipes right off, it comes super clean. So imagine if you wove plastic bags together and made a, a garment, it won't hang on to stains at all. So if you have small children, you want high polyester count because stains come out really easily. But if you're like me and you're an adult, you want something that feels a little bit nice, but still will come clean. And that's where a poly cotton blend comes in handy. Now this is 55% cotton, 45% polyester. That means that there's more cotton than there is polyester, but it's the right combination to allow stains to come out easily, but still provide a lot of warmth and soft and premium kind of textures to it. Now again, this is way more than any of you wanted to know about fabrics. And if you wanna know why I know anything about fabrics, go ahead and ask in the comments and I will share some ridiculous stories with you. Inside though, 100% polyester, so this is fully plastic, but it feels good, like it's got a good weight to it. Now, if I put this on, you guys can see, it actually, it feels really good. This zip up here, zips nice. The hood, like this, this actually, as far as hoodies go, this is probably one of my new favorite hoodies. It zips up all the way. It's got drawstrings here, which are, I mean, it's all feels really premium feeling. My only problem is Thermax on it instead of Gears and Tech, which I like to wear all my Gears and Tech 
merch whenever possible. But I mean, as far as a hoodie goes, you guys can decide. I'm wearing a large here today. I'm about 185 pounds. It's North American sizing. These cuffs are like, this is thick. It's got a lot of thickness to it. And in fact, I think my teenage son would probably try to wear this as his winter jacket and never wear a proper winter jacket ever again. The biggest difference between this and any other hoodie is this guy right here, which is a little multi-function button. And on the inside of this, we have some instructions on how to use the multi-function button. And there's a little zip out pocket here, which reveals our USB plug. Now let's talk a little bit about that USB plug. You see, this is powered by a USB battery pack. So you can use any battery pack that you like. They do have products that come with the battery pack and they have ones where you can buy without the battery pack and get the battery pack separately. So we have just the product without the battery pack. So I'm gonna plug it into the end of this USB cord, which is plugged into just a power bar that should supply enough power, but also energize my jacket. And just like that, so here you guys go. You can see my jacket, according to the instructions, it means it is heating. So it's on already. Okay, there we go. And then we got yellow. Then if we push it again, it's white. Push it again, it's off. And according to this, the three heating modes are 50 degrees, 45 degrees, and 40 degrees Celsius and standby, which is off. And now I'm just waiting for it to warm up. This whole area here, is starting to get warm and the interesting thing here all of this doesn't heat up there's a strip down in here now this is black and you guys are going to have a hard time seeing what i'm pointing at here there's a panel right here i can see it right here which is just as flexible as the rest of the garment but this has the heating element in it when i touch it i can feel that heat up there's a wire that goes down along here and then it heats up over here and there's another one that comes up to a panel over here and it heats up right here. And I think that is all of the components that heat up. So the arms don't heat up. This is aiming at keeping your core warm. So there's one for your back and then two for your sides and your front, which trust me, that's plenty of warmth for you. But there you can see power button cycling through all the different settings here. That's uh, standby when it's off like that. Now there are other garments actually, instead of having that button like you saw there, have an OLED screen so you can fine tune your heating adjustments. And they also have different heating zones and stuff. There's tons of great products that they have on the way. If you're interested in something like this, this is, is really, really cool in the sense that it feels like a regular hoodie, but you get to have that extra benefit of having that backup heater built into it. I'm thinking, Something like this would be good for my wife while she's driving her electric car that doesn't get super hot in the winter. She could put this thing on, plug it into the car and it would actually heat her up in the car a little bit extra. In fact, anyone who just is cold in a car, especially in the winter up here in Canada where it's cold or in the northernmost United States, you could get something like this and just, you plug it in. You've got a USB plug in your car that would provide plenty of power to turn the heater on on here. You just gotta be mindful when you get out of the car that you need to unplug the jacket or you'll be tugging on the cords all the time. Now I will put a link in the description where you can get a hold of Thermax to check out the products that they have or to purchase. I do know that they're looking to partner up with clothing brands as well to incorporate their patented heated technology into other clothing as well. So you can certainly reach out to them if that's something that interests you. For me, the end consumer, I'm just really excited to see stuff like this making its way into new form factors that a lot of people didn't think about. You saw it with the EcoFlow hat that we reviewed on this channel already, and now you're seeing it with other wearables, jackets, pants, hats, toques, clothing. Oh, it's so exciting. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. and We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. 
you can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.